Yeah, hey there, Jess. Last week, the Diocese of Evansville released its reopening plan, which requires students to wear masks on school buses. But during tonight's meeting, Wabash County Community School Superintendent Dr. Chuck Breyer says that won't be the case here. Illinois has mandated masks be worn on public transportation, but Breyer says because the district's buses are not public, masks will not be required. The number one thing that I'm worried about is just the safety of my children. One Wabash County father speaking out following the school board's decision to no longer require masks. If they think it's OK, I'm not going to go against it. I know it's annoying for them to wear at certain times and it's hard as kids to remind them everywhere we have to go. It's it's different to them from the normality that they're used to. At its regular meeting Thursday, Wabash County Community Schools clarifying its plan to return to pre-pandemic conditions and procedures for the upcoming school year. The district recognizes that some people may want to continue to wear a mask, but therefore at the beginning of the school year, mask wearing will be optional for any student or personnel that's either vaccinated or unvaccinated. The decision is nothing new. The board actually voting on the issue back in May after receiving no questions and unanimous approval. Board President Tom Schuler only mentioning the return to school plan again following confusion from the community over the district's stance on mask wearing. But with the Illinois State Board of Education giving mask wearing rules back to local districts. So basically it's up to everybody to decide on their own with their parents if they want to wear a mask or not when we start the school year. Wabash Community Unit School District is now confidently saying no more to the mandate. I would like to see it when they're in groups. While this father says he can accept the board's decision, his wife and three of his children have the virus. So while cases tick up in the tri-state, he says he would like to see some safety measures remain. It is, you know, highly contagious and they are in a group setting with a lot of people who we don't know where they have been or what their their functions have been so I'd like to just um, play it safe for right now until you know the world as a whole can get a grip on this and we can find something that works. Superintendent Breyer also mentioned remote learning policies for the upcoming year. Per state guidelines, it is only allowed if a student has an approved medical reason. Remote learners will not be allowed to take part in extracurricular activities, and fear of COVID-19 is not an excuse to learn remotely. Reporting live in Mount Carmel, Valerie Lyons, 44 News.